Hello, back again with another video showing you how to convert 30 FPS video to uh, 60 FPS. But this time we're going to be using a bit of software called Hybrid, which I uh, found the other day. So first things first, we want to go to their website. I've already got a shortcut. It is www.selur.d. I'll uh, put a link in the description for the website. Up on the top row, you've got uh, Downloads. And in there you'll find a Windows installer to download and plus they do a, a Linux version and plus a version for the Mac. Right, so once you've got that downloaded and installed, which will only take you a couple of minutes to do, I'll show you how to get everything set up and running. Right, let's click on the uh, shortcut. Right, on the main screen here, You've got a uh, video handling. I normally leave it at X264, but if you wanted to, you could try X265. Entirely up to you. On audio handling, you've got ignore, but I would change that to pass through. So that means you don't have to add the audio at the end. It's already added into the video, which is handy and saves you a bit of time. And while we're here, we'll add the uh, video in. And as always, it's a, uh, GTA 5 video so just add that in it's just uh, analyzing the video so that's all done right so that screen's done video handling x264 audio handling pass through all right next tab we go to is x264 and on this page where you've got on the right restriction settings and it says 4.1 you want to change that to 4.2 or above. Otherwise, uh, it'll come up with an error before it starts trying to encode, telling you to change it. So you change it now. And uh, on the left here, you've got target size or bit rate. Or there's a few other methods you can try. It's all uh, it's up to you for resizing and uh, well, file size. The thing I do for bit rate, I normally set it to the same size as what I've captured with which is, uh, I've got an Elgato HD60 Pro, which normally captures uh, around about 60. But for GTA 5, it's normally about 55. So I'll just change that, 550. So that's set. And it's given you just above a rough estimate of the file size when it's finished in the above box. Right, so that's all done. So we've changed the bit rate to whatever one you want. And we changed restriction settings to 4.2. Right next, on the top tabs, we got one that says filtering. So click that. You don't have to change anything there. So you want to, uh, you'll see another tab called AVI synth. You click there. And then just on the right tabs below, you're looking for the one that says frame. So just click that. And this is where we have to change a few more settings. Right, on the left here, it says FPS adjust. So we put a tick in the box. And on this drop down, you want to change this to into frame. And now we've got a few other things we've got to change now. Where it says tuning, I would change that to smooth. And where it says override, I presume that's algorithm. I'll change that to intelli from intelligent to smooth. And where it says target frame rate, it says 25. Just change that, highlight it, and change it to 60. And just press enter. And that's it, nearly all done. That's the only thing you've got to change. Right, so now on the uh, top tabs, we got uh, go back to main. And where it says generate, uh, right up the right hand side, this is where we select where we want to output it to. So I'll pull it in my videos folder. And I'll just call it GTA 5 uh, 60 FPS. GTA 5 60 FPS and click save. And just to the right, you'll see a little workman with his shovel. That's how we start. So we click that and it will start uh, doing its magic. This can take a little while. It's, uh, it's giving me an estimate of around about I'll give it a little bit longer, 13, 12. I, I imagine it'll take about 10 minutes plus. Well, it may be a little bit longer because it's got to do two passes. So the thing I'll do, I'll fast forward through this. 
and I'll come back when it's finished. Tell a lie, it took a little bit longer than uh, 10 minutes because it did uh, a few passes, but that's everything done now. So we can uh, close down hybrid because uh, it tells you down the bottom it's finished. And I'll show you the final video. Uh, yes, close it. So I go into my uh, videos. That's the original GTA 5, and this is the uh, new one. I'll just go into properties. Uh, details and we now got a uh, 60 frames a second video I'll just show you the video and uh, there's GTA 5 in uh, lovely uh, 60 FPS there's me uh, flying the uh, Hydra over San Andreas as usual I'll leave this uh, running for a bit so you can uh, get to see the quality of the uh, finished video So I uh, hope this video has helped you and uh, as always, goodbye. Can't believe I did that all in one take, makes a change. <laughs>